Ah, uh, YouTube, what the crap is going on? Back at the Tosa campaign, of course. Um, so, I actually skipped a little more, and some of you freak out every time I do that, but these campaigns are long, and if I film every last freaking bit, it's going to take absolutely forever. And Air is just a lot busier than he used to be in the past, um, because I have been promoted at work, and I have a lot more going on, um, which is the reason why I haven't made a video this week. I apologize for that. It's not going to be that way all the time. Um, but I have played the game a lot this week. I just didn't get anything that I wanted, and, um... I like to do these campaign videos when I'm a little more well motivated so that hopefully it's not like boring and sucktacular. Um, but in any case, it seems like I've gotten some pretty good response to the Tosa campaign so far. So let's see where we're at. Um, some of you have been like screaming at me about the Ishin Shishi so many times. I do understand that if you put him in the city, it helps repress the population. So I appreciate you all letting me know. But um, no, honestly, I, I mean, I, re I really did know that. Um, but you have to understand that sometimes when I play these things, I'm focused on commentating. And I don't, like, pick up, like, all the little things that you do. So, I mean, like I said, I do appreciate the comments, and I'm not going to get mad at you for it. But um, just just know that, yes, I do understand that. And see, look, I even did it for you right there. Um, Okie dokie. Let's get moving. So I, I hired another Ishin Shishi right here. My, um, my uh, funds are up a little bit. I've recaptured Nagato um, after these guys over here came and took it. And uh, I'm in a little bit of an interesting position right now. I want to say that one of the Imperial um, clans is mad at me. Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, right here, the uh, Matsuyama are kind of mad at me. It says unfriendly. And we're at war! So why in the world these idiots declared war on me is news to me, but oh well. Um, if they're not going to get on board, then they're going to have to die. So let's see, let's see what we got going on here. Was I training troops here? Because I've got a little bit... Oh, no, no, it's just generals mainly. I, I would like to operate a second army, but I mean, I don't really honestly have the funds for it. Like, let's see where... Um, do I have my taxes on auto-manage? Okay, good. I don't like screwing with the taxes turn by turn. Some of you keep telling me that I could. I know I could, I just don't want to. Um, let's see. So I am researching cordial relations, which allows us to build a trading port so that I can trade with the foreign powers. Some of you have also asked me, like, air, trade with the British, trade with the French, trade with the Americans. Since I'm an Imperial clan, almost certainly it's going to offer me trade with the British, which I'm going to accept. When you play as a Shogunate clan, it's a lot more likely that you'll get the Americans or the French. Um, now, sometimes the Americans will offer to either side. I'm going to take, you know, whatever they offer, and since I'm going to play more than one campaign, you know, you all don't have to worry about it, because, you know, eventually you'll get to see what it is you want to see. So, um, yeah, there's really not, like, a whole big difference between, you know, who you're trading with. Um, other than, like, you get different ironclads and stuff like that. Anyway, let's end the turn. I don't know why I'm not ending the turn. I'm wasting time here. Ranting and talking and not shutting up. Oh, yeah. Bring it. So, yeah, it's going to be hard for me to beat these guys because I'm having to uh, fight them off from, from two different directions. So that's definitely going to be a concern. I'm going to leave this levy infantry there and go ahead and march my army down to this city uh, so that I can defend it. My line infantry has pretty much um, been uh, replenished. Rally the populace over here. It's not going to be quite enough to keep them from being ticked, um, but I can uh, train one more unit of levy infantry to help suppress the population for now, and eventually uh, these places, you know, will calm down a little. I don't know if I can get within naval bombardment range, but I'm going to try. I think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So that way, if these guys attack me, I can use my naval bombardment to help uh, destroy them. So we should be ready for that, and I don't really think there's a whole lot else I need to do this turn. I'm going to save up a little money, and then I'll focus on some structures. And I do have some of these, uh, like this building right here, I can build rail lines. Um, the rail lines are useful, um, but not as useful as I'd hoped, because you can really only drop like in provinces that have like one of those rail stations. Which is sometimes helpful, but like, I mean, the littlest things can go wrong. Like if they damage one of those buildings or get in your way or something like that, it just screws everything up and uh, actually makes it um, kind of a nuisance. I mean, the rail lines are helpful, but they're not as cool as I thought they would be. At least not from what I've seen yet. Um, it doesn't mean that I may not figure out more about them or something. So uh, these turds are ignoring me because they know I'm going to kick their butt if they attack me. So I am going to go ahead and attack them. And I'll have my uh, my naval bombardment here to back up. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and bombard them. And uh, it didn't cause like a whole bunch of damage. I uh, damaged one of their trash lock Kachi. And um, yes, I said trash lock Kachi. And, <laughs> and one of the generals. 
but I'll go ahead and attack them, and with my naval bombardment and, you know, them being AI and pretty much sucking, I'm sure they'll easily destroy them. Because all they have is a bunch of trashy levy infantry, and, like, the only decent unit they have is this Katana Kachi. In a case, let's get it done. YouTube! Guess what this is, right in between their generals. That's a, a naval bombardment flare burning right in between the two uh, generals Hatamoto. And what's funny is the computer really isn't moving much, so... Guess what? Uh, Merry Christmas from air, you bunch of dimwits. So here it comes. You can see them now finally evacuating. Uh, right before the impending doom. Aw, oh, some misses. Come on! There we go. Now I see blood and bodies flying. Oh yeah! <laughs> Feel the pain, suckas! Aw, oh, what? They live! That's no fun. Screw that. Oh well. Well, we had a pretty successful naval strike. <laughs> Um, I think we caused some, some pretty good damage to certain units. I say that. It wasn't, like, super great, but it was pretty funny nonetheless. I love naval bombardments in campaign. They crack me up. Like, they get so ridiculously powerful. Like, whenever you unlock ironclads and stuff, like, I mean, it is just hilarious, like, the number of shell, uh, shells that come in, and they're, like, so dang explosive, and, oh, man, it just cracks me up. Like, I mean, it is, it is fun beyond all belief. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop another naval bombardment because you do get two of them. So I'm going to wait. And because the AI, like, even though it has, like, a huge numerical advantage right now and could cause me massive damage, they're just programmed to sit on their butt. And um, so I just think it's funny because you can do this to them. Um, otherwise, I mean, it should never, I mean, like, it should be attacking me. Uh, but the AI doesn't take any consideration the fact that it has the best chances um, uh, by... Uh, by attacking me, so it's it's some pretty screwy terrain here. My guys aren't gonna have like the best line of sight, um, so I am going to kind of put my guys out to the side a little to avoid some fire from the incoming line. And now we can go ahead and drop another naval strike. I'll drop it right there in the center. There's the flare. And now that they're engaged with me, um, and I'm gonna use a uh, gun batai or whatever it is. There we go. So it's uh, that increases the morale and reload and accuracy and everything of my troops. And then as soon as that runs out, I'll use the other the other Genbat with my general. Here comes the naval strike. Should be just about any moment. And since they're engaged with me, they're not going to run around as much. They're actually doing like fairly well against my troops, to be honest. But um, hopefully that naval strike will start to bust up their morale. It actually was not super accurate, unfortunately. But I'm going to come take them from the, uh, the side here with my uh, spear troops. They are getting a lot of shots off, but their shots are causing uh, very little damage. Mine aren't causing like a whole ton of damage either. It's kind of a slow battle here. You can see that the line of sight is pretty whack because this map is kind of strange. Let's watch the uh, charge of my uh, Yari Samurai, or my, uh, well, Yari Samurai, basically it's Yari Kachi, this ought to be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, get you some of that. Bet you wish you hadn't gone to war with me now. I, I do love the charges with the blood effects, I mean, it is just absolutely horrendous. And uh, normally I'm not a big fan of, you know, like, horrendous, but for some reason it is just really cool. <laughs> so thank you CA for the blood pack. There may be a lot of other problems with this game. But the blood pack is amazing, and I just don't think that it ever gets old to me. Um, it just really adds like a whole new level of like uh, realism, I think, to the Total War game. Now, I'm not getting to the point where I want the guys like choking themselves with, uh, or choking someone with their own entrails or something like that, but all the kill animations in the blood do add to like a pretty darn cool effect um, to the game. Okay, looks like the uh, the remaining enemy troops are getting routed off. I'll uh, I'll run one more uh, uh, gun battalion or whatever on these guys. There we go. So uh, the enemy general is actually getting uh, slaughtered by my spear troops right now. He's one of these guys here, one of the ones running off like a coward. Can't die like a real man. There's their Yari Kachi. That's their one unit that's actually pretty decent. I can't tell what my rifle troops are hitting, like, they can't shoot very good. There they go, I can see some shots hitting that Yari Kachi. Looks like all the rest of their troops have now routed. So, uh, some of you are saying, like, Air, you gotta run down their troops. No, you don't actually have to run down their troops. Yes, I realize that sometimes some of them survive, 
but I don't want to spend all the time running down their troops because when you just end the battle, if you've really beaten them up bad, the computer will just go ahead and take out the rest of their troops. So I just I don't feel like spending like 10 minutes after each battle running down every last routing troop. So anyway, see you back on the map. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, so naval support fire contributed to casualties. Yeah, but where does it tell me how many it contributed to? Oh, that's no fun. Maybe it tells me in here. What? Well, it says enemy killed 1215. It doesn't tell me how many were killed because of the naval thing. That's no fun. I wonder how many the naval strike killed. Lame. In any case, all right, looks like we got it there. Um, someone said you could click on this, I thought. It doesn't do anything. It just says naval fire contributed. Well, duh, I know it contributed. I saw the shells coming down. There you go. See, I didn't chase down all the routing troops, but they still died. Um, which is just a little bit easier for me. And I'm not trying to say that to be mean to you. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's a little easier for me not to screw with that stuff sometimes. So, we easily handled that situation. Um, got this geisha here. It looks like, is that one of the enemy? Yeah, it's an enemy geisha. I need to uh, give her a good assassinating when I get the chance. Um, but right now, my Ishin Shishi is doing a good job of rallying the populace, so I kind of want to keep him there. I can't do a trading port yet. Barracks, I don't know how much that... Um, I should probably build this fortress. This will give me like kind of a stronghold here, plus it also rep uh, represses the populace a little more, which would be good in this case, because my, my populace is a little rioty. Um, just because these are some new provinces. I really wish the Satsuma would get their butts up here and help me out. Like, in some of the other campaigns I've played, my uh, allies have been very helpful. So, like, I've beaten a Josai campaign and um, a Satsuma campaign on my own. Both of them were very fun. Like, uh, playing for the Shogunate uh, or the Imperial side was very fun, uh, in my opinion. All right. We got a Samurai Revolt to crush. I like this. So, um, got the Choshu Rebels up here, so we'll go give them a, a sound thrashing and, and be done with it. What are these stupid geisha doing in my province? Oh, okay, that one's a Satsuma one. That one's my enemies. Army. Let's take this army up here and uh, go put down the old Samurai Rebellion. Um, I'm sure that I won't be able to kill them this turn, so they'll go and like burn my farm or something annoying like that. Uh, like they always do. And uh, a lot of times you end up some pretty bad rebellion in this game, um, just because, like, uh, basically, like, all the modernization and stuff makes the populace unhappy, because, you know, the populace tends to, like, stick to tradition and stuff. So it's kind of understandable. And as soon as I build a trading port, too, I can train one of the uh, the foreign agents, which is, man, they're sweet. They sit there and, like, they just sit there and build up your army, like, as far as the veteran status. And, oh, man, are you serious? These punks already sent another army? Dad gummit. I can't be in two places at once. Well, I'm not really worried about these Choshu rebels or whatever because I'm betting my two levy infantry and then the garrison there can probably defend my city. So I'll just let them run amok right now and I'll just come down here and deal with these um, with these punks who are coming in from the other clan. These guys are just going to be a nuisance and keep setting my farm on fire or something. Because uh, why aren't they taking... Um, they should be taking winter attrition. That's a bunch of BS. Oh well. If they don't attack me before this fortress is finished in two turns, then I know there's no way these guys can take me out. So I'm already feeling pretty confident about my ability uh, to defend that town. And I'm not really sure why this town is like so freaking ticked. I've got a garrison there. Resistance to invaders. Yes, resistance to invaders. I only freed you from the shogunate forces that captured you, so let's please resist the people who believe the same thing I do. And then we got modernization. Modernization, I understand. This is a bunch of stupid BS. It was a freaking Imperial clan to begin with, and I've got, like, these rebels here that represent another Imperial clan. Ugh. Bunch of ingrates. Um, any case, let's go ahead and end a turn rather than me just ranting forever. I just hate this stuff because it slows down your, um, your growth and everything, and... Uh, the computer, of course, is not affected by anything monetary. That's the reason, like, a lot of you ask me, like, how come you don't play this on hard or legendary? Because the computer already gets, like, enough cheating. Now, granted, their, um, battle ability absolutely sucks. Um, and it would be nice to play it on a higher level, but, like, these guys, like, already get, like, so much cheating going on for them, it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Uh, so, like, I mean, you'll notice that these people over here don't have any more provinces than me, but yet they can field, like, army after army after army, and they do. Uh, but I can, like, barely afford one army. 
So that's, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, you know, be too complaining or here, whatever, you know, like, I still like the game, but I am just trying to say, I mean, that is a little annoying, um, that that's the way it works. So let's repair this, and uh, let's take our army out and go ahead and squash these little turds real quick. Um, yeah, I'll just take the whole thing and crush them. That way I can probably auto-resolve it, because I don't feel like beating that chump army. So that general has increased in rank which is pretty sweet. Let's send our levy infantry back up here to help garrison the city. And um, let's go ahead and upgrade this general here so we can have plus one to the melee attack of all traditional units in this man's army or plus one to the charge bonus of all units. Under, uh, both of these are absolutely worthless. But I'll do the melee attack because I usually do have some spear troops. And let's see, this one right here gives me stand and fight, which isn't super helpful, but it might come in useful sometimes. This one gives plus 15 to the running speed, plus 25% to the number of men in the bodyguard. That's kind of cool. I think I'll do that one. All right. So we got that taken care of. Let's take our general up here. Winter is getting closer to being over, and it looks like the next settlement in Aki is right here. And um, this town should be getting closer to Imperial... Um, yeah, pro-imperial, so it's already pro-imperial, but it'll continue to go up, and so there may be a revolt, but I can I can help quell it. I've got a big enough garrison here that it's going to be similar, to, like, I've got these turds running around, I'll just, I'll kill them eventually. I'm honestly not super worried about it at the moment. I want to go ahead and put some more herd on these punks, so that maybe they'll leave me alone. Let's see if I can at least. My income's kind of going up and down. Um, I need to... Uh, the buildings that are going to help me most, economically speaking, is going to be the trading port, and I'm pretty close to being able to unlock one of those, so that's kind of what I'm saving my money for. Also, I can build a couple of trading ports, and then eventually, when we finish researching the other technology, I'll upgrade it to... Um, I'm going to have to go kill those stupid Shoshi rebels, because whenever the computer knows they can't beat you, they'll just sit there, and especially since these guys aren't taking winter attrition. You know what I could do, though? I don't know if they get to replenish their forces. I could just come up here and, like, naval bombard these guys, like, over and over and over again. That may help. So, I'll do that for now, because I do want to go ahead and take my army and capture Aki. And it looks like Suo has calmed down, which is good. Look, they've already got another army. See what I'm saying about these, um, these punk computer factions? Like, they don't have to, like, even deal with any cost, I swear. Um, anyway, we've got to fight this battle and take out these, uh, these two punks. So I will see you on the battle map. Alright, and another standard standstill while the AI camps in its deployment position while you march up and shoot them out kind of fight is ensuing. Um, as the, uh, the computer just does not seem to be too interested in, um, exercising any type of strategy whatsoever. Um, except for this strategy right here, which is the apparently whenever you start getting attacked, you just back up. Um... So I'm going to start doing my standard strategy, which is <laughs> using my generals to, uh, to rally uh, the men. So I'm going to do that. These guys aren't firing, so better move them up. Neither are these guys. Only some of these guys are firing. Let's move them all up. Try and get them in range. This uh, terrain is kind of weird. Let's inspire this unit. Gunbatai. Rally, and I'll inspire my uh, Yarikachi. Your general is under attack. I'm gonna tie again. There we go. Yeah, you can see that uh, Gunbate, or however you say it, Gunbate, uh, is pretty sweet. Like uh, I've got some pretty crappy regular old line infantry, but they've got some pretty decent stats here, um, all things considered. Move up this unit. This unit's not really doing anything either. Alright. I'm gonna go use this general unit to try and shoot some things up. Huh, <laughs> my Yarikachi's in there just like poning everything. Not very surprising. Uh, this is a pretty sweet unit actually in campaign. I've been pretty happy with the Yarikachi overall. You all might want to start shooting that uh, unit of cavalry that's charging you. But I can see that you're not going to, which is genius. 
So, I don't know if I'll be able to beat that general's unit or not, but I'll try. I gotta engage with some spears here. Is this unit doing anything useful? I don't think they fired a dang shot the entire time. There we go. That's uh, chasing that general's unit out. Now they'll get shot up. Your general doesn't have near as much range in the campaign mode as he does in... Um... What the heck are these guys shooting at? Oh, they're shooting my Yarikachi through their own Yarikachi. I should probably be routing their own guys. Um, not really sure how that's working right now. I uh, probably don't want to leave my general in that fight. There we go. Go help out my Yarikachi here. And then I'll move up my other units that I should have already been doing this. There we go. Now that I routed that Yarikachi unit, and the general's going to fall, the rest of the units are going to run off. Alright, that turned out okay. Took more losses than I should have in some places, but oh well. My guys will replenish pretty quick. Alright, that was a pretty easy victory, because the computer recruited a bunch of crap. And uh, now they're going to pay the price for that. The nice thing is, I get... Aw, oh, come on! Lost my spear levy. What a bunch of garbage. Well, at least I gained some more uh, notice in the eye of the Emperor, so that's going to allow me to go in here into this clan thing. And I can now go to Family and Council and, like, appoint um, an ins or a Comptroller. So, let's see. Let's appoint this guy as the Comptroller. Upstart Generals. What's the, man, my General's loyalty is terrible. I don't really understand that, because my Daimyo is out there, like, going for uh, quite a bit of honor. Some of these guys might be the dudes back in Tosa, though. The ones that aren't doing anything. That would make sense, actually. Need to repair the uh, the garrison. I got a traditional dojo. I don't really want that. It's not going to... Well, I mean... Well, let me think. What would the traditional dojo give me that could be... I, I just don't need it right now. In fact, I'm going to build a cannon range. Because I would love to have some parrot guns. Ooh, I can build a trade port now. Sweet. Um, uh, I could build one right there, but I'm guessing these punk rebels are going to... These rebel scum are going to uh, start... Uh, pestering me. So maybe I should build a trade port right here. And then I'll build another one somewhere else when I get enough money. Alright, let's go ahead and end this turn so that I can... Uh, get after those Choshu rebels with my navy again. Hopefully they don't run off to where I can't bombard them because my plan is to just like kind of bombard them to death. Yeah, go around being little rat turds. I'm gonna kill you on the next turn, so enjoy it. Stupid turd. You too. That's exactly why I didn't upgrade that port. Okay, so my one of my Ishin Shishi increased in rank. So let's take care of that. Plus five to the chance of escape. Plus one to subterfuge when assassinating. I like assassinating. I'm persuading troops. Assassinating and stealing fervor. I would rather have that one. Alright, Navy, let's give these guys another uh, walloping. Oh, no damage. Man, they're letting these Choshu rebels off pretty dang easy in my opinion. Bunch of rat turds. How much would it cost me to persuade their troops? I don't have enough, darn. But I could pretty easily do it once I get enough money. So annoying. Alright, let's go take care of these turd rebels real quick. Oh no, one spear levy. Like the people in my town couldn't fight them off. A spear levy, seriously? When like most everybody would have been armed with like a katana sword? That's ridiculous. Bunch of buttholes. Anyway, they're dead now. Um... Cottage industry... Where's the stupid cannon range? This one. There we go. I knew that I could build it. So I'm gonna make a couple of parrot guns. And uh, once you put those in your army, your army starts to get ludicrously powerful. Especially if you've got, like, uh, the foreign agent that helps your guys level up. When you get some leveled up artillery, it is just absolutely ridiculous. And yes, I said a couple of parrot guns, so it's not like multiplayer. You can have multiple of them. And apparently I need to start training a second army somewhere because I don't know if I can put up much longer with these stupid Shoshu rebels.
because they are really starting to be a massive nuisance. So... I need to get a general up here from Tosa. Let's take... One of these lazy generals, or a couple of these lazy generals, actually. And uh, march up here. My sword for you, laying in and then uh, I'll bring my navy down. Pick them up. There we go. And we will bring them over here. I'm not going to have a whole lot of money. But like maybe over the next couple of turns I can train some, uh, some line infantry and we'll have it pretty much settled. Alright, I think we're doing alright. I wish this stupid Satsuma would get up here and do something rather than sit on their butts. I, I tell you what can happen though, sometimes when they sit on their butts they'll turn over and like uh, join the uh, Shogunate, um, which is pretty annoying because then I'll have all of them uh, back behind me basically. Alright, my trade port should be done soon. I'm going to build another trade port here. Because it helps increase my wealth and the number of trade routes and all kinds of cool stuff like that. I do need to train some new troops though, but that's okay because it's still going to be a while before my generals get over here. I love the huge bombardment range that Tosa get. That's actually a pretty cool... Um, pretty cool feature that their faction gets, in my opinion. 